All right, kind of what we're going to do right now is we're going to talk about the, the four fundamentals and how they apply to what we're about to do, which is dry fire. Number one, stable position, right? Which is what we just built behind the rifles. All right. So we've got that kind of sorted out. Um, so we're just going to shoot prone, which is about the easiest stable position we can possibly build. Low center of gravity, we're not taking much uh, muscle or bone structure to go ahead and support ourselves in the rifle. The next one would be sight picture, right? The natural point of aim and sight picture. So we just fixed all that by basically setting up the rifles, fitting the rifles to the shooter. All right, and then we have our trigger control. We're going to go ahead and load the trigger, load that wall, and then we click through that wall, the brake, and then we hold it back. And then we, we do this thing called follow through. So just like in basketball, when you, when you place a shot and you hold that shot and you watch where the ball goes. So how we relate that to rifles is you break that shot, you hold the trigger to the back. We don't slap it and we don't let it go. We hold it to the back and we see where that shot went. All right, we don't come off the scope because you can't see anything off the scope. So we keep our face down planted to the chassis, right? We look to the scope, pull the trigger, and then after that rifle goes off, the bullet impacts, we spot where that impact is. That's follow through. Then when we go ahead and run the bolt, we keep our face to the chassis, all right? We go ahead and up, back, forward, down. One fluid motion, not like a robot, but just one fluid motion, that'll keep the rifle running. All right, when we break that shot, we have to do the last fundamental, which is breathing, all right? That's something that you'll kind of forget about, but we need to build muscle memory with is breathing. So breathing is an easy cascade. It's easy. Just think of it like flowing water. Up, down, up, down, up, down. All right. So my cadence normally when I'm shooting groups is two breaths. At the bottom of my second breath is when my blood's most oxygenated. So I'm not going to tremble. I'm not going to starve for oxygen. And my body is the most still. All right. And that's when I break that shot. So we have to work breathing in with all of this. So these four fundamentals come together in order to place the bullet where we want to. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to dry fire. We've got the target set up. So you're going to pick whatever little yellow square on that target you want to practice shooting at. So we can run the bolt, find that sight picture, sight alignment. We're going to do our breathing and then trigger right and then our follow through so that's that's what we're after so go ahead and pick a dot on your target board and then whatever you do while shooting groups and dry fire practicing it has to be the exact same every single time if you find yourself shifting around doing a different trigger pull having your hand at a different position that's that's creating inconsistencies. So consistency is accuracy. It's pretty generic, but that's, that's actually the crux of the whole thing. Remember, we're doing the same exact thing every time we're dry fire practicing, right? And then load the bipod. You look pretty lax again. You're digging your toes in. So keep your face on the stock. Look, look at that. And then we squeeze the bag, and then we're going to run the bolt forward and down. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and place our hand on the rifle, and then you can either thumb over or you can rest your thumb right here. Let's do that and then put your finger on the trigger. All right, so we're gonna go ahead, it's got a little safety blade on here. We're gonna load this, we're gonna apply pressure and just feel it break. And then where that's follow through, look where the shot landed, and then we're gonna go ahead and run the bolt. So be forceful with it, because we wanna get that, that spent casing out and the fresh one in. All right, so remember, we're gonna do the same thing with our hand over and over and over. So we're gonna put it in the same spot. We're gonna index, thumb right there, place the finger on the trigger, 90 degrees, load it, feel that pressure, break, pull the back, bam, spotted our shot, now run the bolt. Derek, you're making a toe line. So we're gonna break this down again and we're gonna kinda of make a checklist of this, all right? So, four fundamentals, first one, Stable, stable position. So let's check my position. Am I centered behind the rifle? You've kind of, kind of, you kind of come off the left side of it. So go ahead and move your hips to the right. There we go. Now we're more centered up. Our legs are relaxed. Now I need to scoop my static body weight forward. Load that rifle. Right there. All right. Feel good? Yeah. All right. So fundamental number one. Checked off. Done. All right. Number two. What is it? 
sight picture sight alignment. All right, so go ahead and mount the scope. All right, now we are we on target? No, I am, yeah. Okay. All right, now go ahead and run the bolt forward. And what's our third one? Breathing. All right, so we're going to work in our breasts. We're going to go ahead and put your hand on the grip and the trigger. All right, so we're up and down, and then when we reach that natural resp respiratory pause at the bottom of our second breath, we're gonna go ahead and squeeze. And that's trigger control. Bam, follow through, done. All right, see how we kind of just made a checklist and got all those off to place a shot? Yeah. We do that every single time. And if we have any little inconsistency in any of those steps right there, that's gonna cause us to kind of labor and then not place as accurate shots. Make sense? All right, so just keep doing that, going over it, running the bolt and just doing, do, aim at the same dot and then just keep doing that. And we'll just get a bunch of dry fire reps out of the way. So by the time we put in live ammunition, it already feels like you've been doing it a bunch. All right, go ahead and mount the scope and then look for that back berm. Can you see the back berm? Uh, no. All right, what do we have to do in order to see that back berm? Raise the back of the rifle up. Are you looking too high? Yeah, it's too high now. All right, so what we can do is we can squeeze this more or we can just kind of manipulate this bag. See what I'm saying? How about now? Much better. Okay. So don't forget to body weight forward, load the bipod so it's got some flex to it. Got it? And then we can zoom in. Hold on. Did you lose it? No. Okay, so whenever you're ready to go, just run the bolt forward and down and then squeeze the trigger. I need it. I need it. To nice. The you hit it. Keep your face on the stock. And, it's back up yet. and then run the bolt and do it again. Yeah, fair enough. Mine's the other way around. There you go. Forward. Down. All right. Remember when we squeeze the trigger, we're going to keep holding the trigger to the back and then we spot our impact, remember? Okay. Go ahead. easy thing to, to cure. All right, so are you on target right now? Yeah. All right, so we're just doing a little pressure, ready to fire? Yeah. All right, bam. Feel how that felt like? So I'm still maintaining pressure on that trigger? Yeah. That's it. Did you see your dot? Uh, see where you landed? I think so. It looks like it's like right on the dot. So we're, we're not slapping the trigger. If you slap the trigger, you end up moving the rifle around. So pressure, pressure. Break. There it is. You want to go down and look at it? Sure. Okay, let's go down and look at it. All right, so your first shot was this guy. Your second shot was this guy. Then you have three, four, five. You watched the dudes go in there? I know which ones they were. Oh, okay, nice. So I was watching one, two, and then three, and then four, five. Yeah, at 50, so it's going to be a little different at 100. 